What's up, y'all? Jared here from Hook Shrubs and Spices and hashtag We Smoke Meat TV. And today we're going to make some Hook Shrubs brisket trash can nachos. Now let's do this. So Super Bowl's coming up. A lot of football watching parties are coming up. Uh, and maybe a lot of other events are coming up and you know, it's the day of the event, maybe the day before the event, and you're trying to rack your brain to figure out what you can make for the group of people that are coming over, your friends or family, they're gonna be hungry. You're the host and you need to bring something special or you're gonna be one of the guests and you said, hey, I'll bring chips and queso and salsa. But if you bring these trash can nachos, you'll be the MVP of the party. All right, yeah, so for trash can nachos, it's a mixture of quite a few things, chips, cheese, uh, black beans, meat, um, and a lot of different toppings that you would put on nachos or tacos. So here we have it. We got some organic blue and white corn tortilla chips, uh, some smoked cheddar mixed in with some mozzarella mixed in with some queso quesadilla. I have some queso dip that I've made there, homemade. We have some fresh jalapeno, pickled jalapeno, sour cream, guacamole, some fresh pico de gallo, cilantro, Black beans, uh, we have this brisket that's made with the hooks rub midnight, smoking sweetness, and mad cow. And then we have some salsa here. I love Miss Renfro's. Uh, so yeah, some great salsa there. You could do some tomatilla sauce. Or you could even do some barbecue sauce to go over the top. And then of course, you're gonna need something uh, to set up as your trash can. So you can use a big stock pot and actually flip it over with all the ingredients in it once it's done. Or you can use this right here, which is a brand new and clean uh, fire chimney starter, a charcoal chimney starter. Um, so, you know, you can basically set up and build the uh, trash can nachos in there uh, and then lift this up. You'll also need some spoons, ladles, forks, some tongs, and a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. First thing you do though is warm your oven up at 400 degrees. Okay, while we wait for the oven to heat up, uh, we can go ahead and get prepped up. Uh, but I'm gonna tell you about the hooks, rubs, and spices seasoning that I used on this brisket. You can uh, use the point, you can use the flat, chop it up, cube it up, whatever you wanna do. Um, or you can use tri-tip, you can use any meat, uh, pulled pork, whatever you like. I like to use brisket in this recipe and a perfect combination uh, is this midnight, which is basically a great combination of sweet, spicy, salty, smoky, all in one, uh, not too overbearing. Then you have the smoke and sweetness, uh, which is our fan favorite. Uh, it is the perfect blend of sweet, smoky, and savory. It's not spicy at all. It's the perfect barbecue blend, and it's kid-friendly kid as well. Uh, then you have the mad cow, which has a little more heat. Uh, I made it for beef and burgers, so great on brisket. Uh, it is a I guess you would call it salty peppery with a nice kick to it. So nice little Texas kick. So a couple options to use are a stock pot, uh, a chimney starter, sort of like I have right here, brand new and clean, just like I said, or you can use a coffee can, something like that, or even a, a sifter, if you will, if you pull out the bottom, uh, as long as it's a big enough sifter to get enough chips in for your whole party, you can do that as well. Now, if you're building this on a sheet pan, it might be a little bit easier just because it might get a little messy. There's gonna be some nachos that fall over uh, from side to side. Uh, which may be a good option, or you can just put it on a plate. Those nachos are gonna fall once again. They may tumble down as people pick away, or even as you pull uh, to try to make the reveal, you pull that cylinder up to try to make the reveal, uh, and they're gonna fall. So just make sure you have a big enough plate that's gonna catch all the chips. Alrighty, the nachos are about done, so 
time to build. Let's do it. Okay, so here we have the nachos, all super cheesy and gooey. They look super yummy. And we're gonna just start building in the bottom of this cylinder. Uh, some people like to put a dollop of the nacho cheese down in the bottom just to hold it in place, which is a good option. Or if you do it like this, they're already sort of bound together. Uh, you're not gonna, you're just gonna basically layer all these pieces down in the bottom. And they don't have to be perfect because you're gonna just be covering them with more cheese eventually. And it may be pretty hot, so definitely watch your hands. start adding some toppings. So you can throw on a little more nacho cheese that you made. Keeps it nice and gooey. Add on some more of the shredded cheese. Now at this point, you can put it back in the oven for a few more minutes just to let some of this set up. Or you can just leave it as is and top it with all of your sour cream, guacamole, pico de gallo, et cetera, et cetera. So in this situation, I'm just gonna start topping with that goodness. All right guys, it's party time. Let's get these nachos out of the trash can. Time for the reveal. The last looks, I like to mix up all three of those seasonings in a little shot glass and basically sprinkle it in. And there we have it, Hook Shrubs Brisket Trash Can Nachos. All right guys, thank you for watching another video of Hook Shrubs and Spices, hashtag we smoke me TV. If you like this video, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit that bell to make sure you get notifications when we do upload another video. If you want your very own bottle of Hooks, Rubs, and Spices, go on to our website, hooksrub.com, or you can find us on Etsy at Hooks, Rubs, and Spices. Also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Hooks, Spice, Rubs, as well as Facebook under Hooks, Rubs, and Spices. Thank y'all, God bless, and remember, hashtag, we smoke meat. Peace.